Hi, my name is Mark Hager. I'm the CEO of BYBLLive.com, the co-host of Booming Your Bottom Line, and the founder of AgentPlace.com. For years, marketers, manufacturers, large corporations, and small business owners have failed to sell products and services to baby boomers, from gadgets to help them be more independent, to active lifestyle communities, to aging in place remodeling, very few companies have been able to hit their stride consistently to get new boomer customers in the door and make the sales. And it hurts. I know it does. But I can tell you right now why companies aren't able to continually fill their sales funnel with new boomer customers. Probably you. It isn't popular or readily accepted, especially by the companies doing it wrong or ignoring what they know to be true, but it doesn't make it any less valid. So here we go. First, you haven't taken the time to get to know them, what they want, what they need, or what they think. Second, you aren't offering the right products and services or the ones that they believe that fit into their life or lifestyle. Third, you aren't giving them the right reasons to do business with you. And quite frankly, that means you're pretty much like every other business. And finally, you aren't talking to them in a way that resonates with them, in a way that they know you understand them. Now, of course, there's, there's actually another reason, and that is that so many companies don't even consider baby boomers worth the effort of targeting specifically. But if you're still listening to this, that's probably not you. Now I can tell you without hesitation that these statements are true in respect to most small businesses, probably yours. Now obviously those statements are generalized and may not apply to every company, say large companies with very deep pockets and very specific niches, so again probably not you. Even so, I've seen products come from certain companies that you might have just thought of an objection to that. And honestly, even if they had asked boomers their input, it's obvious that many of them didn't act on it. And I personally don't think it should count if you ignore it. Now, I know this to be true because I had a marketing problem. You see, I started AgingPlace.com over 10 years ago, back when no one was talking about the idea of aging in place. Just a few key people in select industries. When I started it, aging in place was an unknown topic by most and certainly was rarely, if ever, mentioned around the dinner table. I knew the idea of aging in place or something similar was going to be of utmost importance to our country's older citizens. You know, with 76 million baby boomers close to or, or in retirement, the needs that they were going to have and the challenges that they will present to communities across the nation was and, and will be unprecedented. I wanted to build something that would really bring value to people's lives, something that would reach across several generations, and I wanted to help as many boomers as I could. So I spent years researching, learning, and creating content that I thought would resonate with people interested in the idea of aging in place. I did it all because I really believe that America is headed for an event that will negatively impact hundreds of millions of people across the country. Boomers, families, friends, neighbors, heck, honestly it's going to be billions across the globe. That is until I realized everyone was tackling the problem from the wrong angle. You see, it took me a bunch of years to realize that even though AgentPlace.com had become a resource for an untold number of people looking to help themselves or a loved one, it had failed in one key area. And that is, I took the wrong approach to reach baby boomers. Yep, I had followed a very specific plan over the years and focused on a message that didn't resonate with them. I chose topics and verbiage and images and and methods that were perceived as negative by boomers, such as old age, you know, health issues, handicaps, financial problems, etc., things so often attributed to a less than stellar aging experience. And I put them into a message that essentially stated, you know, this is true. And even if you don't want to admit it, you need to plan for it. Heck, I even bought a domain name based on a variation of an industry term, age in place. Not a great branding based on what I know now. And I, it failed in the sense that it didn't reach as many boomers as I wanted it to. Not everyone, mind you. The site has helped hundreds of thousands of people plan for their post-retirement life or to learn about how to care for their aging parents or a loved one. It made money month over month, and it certainly helped me become an expert in my niche. But I know now that I missed the mark with boomers 
and my most importantly, my personal goal of helping millions of people. And then it got so much worse. Okay, it really didn't get much worse, but I wanted to make sure you were still paying attention. It actually got much, much better. The lessons I've learned, let me tell you. You see, this was actually the best thing that ever happened to me. And let me rewind for a few years so I can tell you why. Is that okay? It'll only take a minute. Now, not long after starting AgentPlace.com, I started getting emails and phone calls from local business owners. Man, they were hungry, wanting to reach more boomers to help more people and make a difference in their communities. And at first, it was mostly people who were doing home remodeling. You know, I had posted a few articles about the Certified Aging in Place Specialist designation from the National Association of Home Builders. But later, though, it was realtors, occupational therapists, handymen, financial planners, and a host of others. And as time went on, I started getting three, five, ten, or more emails a week from small business owners wanting to serve the boomers in their local markets. And over the years, I've talked with, coached, trained, and consulted with hundreds of small business owners. And I've spent years studying the boomer consumer, learning how small business owners could really reach them, how to build a business that boomers want, and the systems that you need to make it happen for yourself. Now, if you've ever read Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers, you probably remember the 10,000-hour rule. Essentially, your talent combined with 10,000 hours of practice will make you great at what you do. Well, during my 10,000 hours, I learned a ton about serving older consumers, small business, and marketing. I learned through practice how to talk about something my tar target customer didn't want to talk about, and that's aging. And the right way to position myself as an expert and how to speak about it in a way that resonates with them. I also learned exactly what small businesses across the nation are going through. The real problems they are facing reaching these customers. I discovered a better way for them to position their companies and what they do. And I created a roadmap for them to get there so they could earn an incredible income doing what they love. You see, I found my passion. Now, this is going somewhere, so just hang on. Eventually, I became so focused on helping small business owners that I knew I had to do something more, something different. So I sought out a very specific person to work with, and that's Aaron Murphy. And together, we launched the Booming Your Bottom Line podcast, specifically targeted at small business owners serving boomers. Now, this was almost a year ago, and we haven't looked back. Our podcast has reached thousands of small business owners, and with our coaching, training, and speaking even more. And that's how I know all of this is true. I've seen it. We've seen it firsthand. Okay, so you know all that stuff that you, you heard earlier about why you aren't getting enough Boomer customers, why what you're doing isn't working. That's because your small business has a marketing problem. Actually, you have a marketing problem and consumer insight, customer experience, and and consumer to service or product alignment problems, at least according to the hundreds of small business owners that we've talked to you do. But marketing is a big part of it. Now, you may not know that that is why it's happening to your business, but that doesn't stop the fact that you're battling against these things that aren't working every day. You're working too many hours, chasing too many leads that go nowhere, dealing with too many issues, earning too little money. It's just so much to deal with. And it's very frustrating, isn't it? Well, thankfully, it's fixable. Now, you might have been in your business for 5, 10, or more years. You've, you've got your 10,000 hours. You've discovered through trial and error and practice what you love to do and who you want to do it for. Now, if that's true, it's also likely you are struggling with not having enough Boomer customers and not earning enough income. So I'm going to tell you how to start fixing that today. If you're serious about serving the baby boomers, about growing your company, serving more people, helping more families, earning more money, you're going to have to stop what isn't working and do it differently. And here are a few tips to get you going in the right direction. First, learn about the boomers. I mean for real. How they behave as consumers, what they like, what they don't like, how they shop, how they learn, how they live, what's important to them, that kind of insight. Second, create a business they'll want to be customers of. Give them what they want, how they want it, when they want it, and the way they want it. Third, 
Give them an amazing customer experience. Make it easy to do business with you. Make it a joy. Remove the roadblocks, reduce their stress, and wow them with your service. And finally, market it right. Stop talking about yourself and start talking about them instead. Educate. Explore the possibilities with them. Be the expert that they will turn to, that they want to turn to, and be where they are when they're looking for what you do. Now in closing, I opened the kimono here and I told you about the mistakes that I made early on in reaching the boomers and and why other businesses are failing because I don't want you to make those same mistakes. And I'll let you in on a little secret. You are so important to the boomers. Your small business and the other businesses in your community they will be the reasons, you will be the reasons why so many boomers are able to stay in their homes longer as they grow older, why they'll get the help that they need, and why they will have a better, higher quality life through their retirement years. That's an awesome responsibility, and it's so important for them and for your community. And that's why I want you to succeed.